Hi, my name is Russ Ryden. I'm with Fit to Score in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. We're here at the Byron Nelson, and I'm sitting here with Kim Braley, KBS Chefs. I know the history of Kim Braley, but we're going to ask Kim to tell a little bit of his history for those of you that don't know it. Hi, I'm Kim Braley. Uh, I've been working on the tour for uh, about 30 years now. My father and I were the first ones to, to uh, bring a trailer out here in the late 70s. Uh, my father admitted frequency matching. And what we were doing is we were doing pure research. We were out here to uh, learn more about how that applied to, uh, the re to a real golfer, um, trying to determine if the gradients were correct and, and uh, the things that we could do mathematically. We were, trying, we were just making sure that we could apply them to uh, or apply that to, to, to real play. And uh, since then, I had worked at Brunswick, which later became Royal Precision. And, uh, now, most recently with KBS. It's actually FST Steel is the parent company. FST and Kim Braley, how'd that come together? FST is a uh, shaft company that's been around for about 15 years. Uh, primarily, they were uh, mainly in the OEM clubs the, uh, uh, and some of the less, less expensive golf shafts. Uh, they brought me on board to upgrade the product line, uh, design some new products, and also to get some tour acceptance. Um, you know, it's a, the best way to be able to market your product is through the players playing it out here. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than uh, do full page ads and, and all those kind of things, what we do is we try to get the tour players to play our product. Or our sales guys can go to Tylos and say, hey, you know, we've got these players playing our product. Uh, and, you know, and try to get us into lines that way. Mm -hmm. So that, that's basically what I'm trying to accomplish. As a club maker and club fitter, I truly appreciate the consistency of the KBS shafts. It makes my life easier. Well, uh, first of all, I, I, I've always designed shafts for club fitters. Uh, we've always, uh, you know, back to the days of working with my father, uh, you know, we never expected to be the, the biggest company, but we wanted to be the best. And obviously the way to do it is to uh, get accepted in the aftermarket through the club fitters. Those are the guys that are working, you know, hand in hand with the with the uh, with the people that are playing the game. And uh, anyway, so I, I've always designed shafts to, to be um, applicable to club fitting. Um, you know, as you know, uh, currently we have shafts in, in all different ranges. It's just not R, S, and X, but uh, we have subcategories for those players that would fall in in, the, in between. I mean, there's as many players that are going to fall between an S and an X as there are that are S and X players. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the R plus and the S plus. It's made my life as a fitter a lot easier. Tell me about soft stepping and hard stepping. How's that going to affect the flighting of the ball? It, it you know, it changes the feel probably more than anything, but it does uh, slightly, obviously, if you would soft, soft step a, a club by putting the uh, two iron shaft in the three iron head, it's going to make it slightly weaker uh, the ball is going to go slightly higher and, and spin a little bit more, and you know consequently, if you hard step it, uh, put the three iron shaft in the two iron, it would do the do the reverse. It's going to spin a little bit less. It's going to go a little bit lower. It's going to feel a little bit stiffer, and it actually is a little bit stiffer. Yeah. Do you do much of that out here on tour? No. When I say no, uh, it, it, I would say maybe 20% of the time. So it's a significant number, but uh, the majority of guys fall straight into into uh, you know whatever it is that, that we end up fitting it, them into. And like I said, we don't just have S and X, we have subcategories, so it makes it a little bit easier that way. The new shaft, the KVS CT, looks a lot like the Project X to me, right down to the satin finish. Well, it's very similar to the Project X. I designed Project X, and uh, what I did was I took a lot of what I learned uh, with that design and working with players and applied it to the new product. Uh, there's a, there's a couple things going on with that. The, 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 the company I work for today, the factory is only 15 years old. Uh, it's evolving. Uh, their primarily business is a they're a machine tool company. It's a 1.4 billion dollar family owned machine tool, machine tool company. So with the CT, I was able to design the shaft, and then the machinery was designed in order to uh, form it. So it was much different than it was at uh, at Rifle or Royal Precision uh, because I had to work within the capabilities of the manufacturing process. So in terms of the consistency and some of the things that we hear uh, about the product, it's really a byproduct of the manufacturing uh, capabilities.
So the CT is out here now. How are you doing with it on tour? Well, we've been going uh, for, it was released two weeks ago. Um, we've had some success, primar you know, even, even prior to that with, uh, in working with the prototypes. Uh, there was a, a couple of iterations, but uh, this chapter we have a, exactly what we want right now, and uh, you know it's been phenomenal. The, uh, I've been doing this a long time, and I've got a lot of uh, history with working with these players, and uh, it's, it's been phenomenal. They, for the most part, these guys know I did Project X and Rifle and, and some of the other things that I'd done before that, and uh, you know quite a few of them are waiting for something, and. Uh, you know, it took us quite a while to bring this product out. We've been talking about it for a while, but uh, you know, it took a while to make the machinery and all, and all that. Uh, but it's been it's been very very. We have some of the top, uh, you know, ten players in the world playing it currently, and it's brand new. It, and what happens is out here, you get a few players play it, they have some success, and it just kind of it kind of snowballs from there. And at least that's what we're counting on. The C taper. Can you name anybody out here using it now? It's on the Daryl surveys, um, but uh, there's some. We've had uh, very, very good success with it out here. Okay. Just we currently we have 17 players in the field, which is um, you know a lot of sets of shafts. This is our, you know, we've been out three years, three full years uh, with the KBS shaft, and now this one is is following it. But we've had 36 wins already. I mean, it's been, uh, you know, the first year we 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 exceeded our five-year plan. So it's it's uh, it's been it's been going pretty good. It's a great story, Kim. Thank you. Thanks, Russ.